Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick video ish um, on how to do bare essentials, bare minerals um, foundation, how to put it on your face. Uh, the lady at the store taught me this and it changed my world because the way I thought I was doing it was correct. And I found out it's not. And since my sister messaged me today asking, I thought I would go ahead and just do a quick little video. So what I'm putting on here, normally you can't see this, is their primer with foundation. I actually prefer the clear primer, the original one, um, but I accidentally got the primer with foundation last time. And it's fine, it's not bad, I just prefer the clear one. I'm being perfectly honest. So I just go ahead and put that in all over, okay? And then I get out my, Sorry, I have stuff over here. So my original foundation, which mine is medium beige, because that's what matches my skin tone. And so you want to tap it into the lid of your, and I need a new foundation, the lid of your thing. And then you want to take your brush and you want to swirl it around to get it in there. And you want to tap it. And then in circles, you just want to go around your whole face. So if you're looking for minimum coverage, you just want to do it once. I personally want medium coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second round on my face. There we go. And I usually like to go the opposite way the second time around. So um, I learned this because I've been using Bare Essentials for years now, and all this stuff, but I was kind of not happy with it at a point. So I went in and I was gonna try it. They're liquid. But I have combination skin that kind of leans more towards oily. And so she's like, you don't want to do the liquid because it's just going to make your face even more shiny and oily. Not in the good way. Okay, so that's step one. Now this is where it changed my world. So step two is a mineral bath. Now I thought this was step three, but it's not. So you want to go ahead and tap that in your lid. Rub it around, circles, and then tap it, and then go ahead and go around your face. And I just do this once. And this made sense to me, because I was always wondering why I did this last and then look like a ghost. So, mineral valve number two. Number three is going to be your warmth. And you're gonna switch brushes. Okay, tap this into the lid. And also, where I was putting this on is different than I had thought, too. So, tap it. Okay, so you wanna make like a three on each side of your face. So you go and like this. And you do that twice. And you do it on both sides. And you wanna do the T zone. And then you want to do an upside down V. Okay. And that is it. Now, I just go ahead and add a brush after blush, brush, blush after this. Because I'm a blush person, um, but I know not everyone is, but you just want to kind of tap it. And what she taught me to do is to tap it on, like that, and then go like this. Okay, so that's it. Just to let you know, I am absolutely no expert when it comes to makeup um, in any way, shape, or form. Heck, I didn't even start working, wearing makeup 
um, until I was in college and regularly until years after I graduated college. So I'm no expert by any means, but this did make a huge difference. I actually love um, the way the makeup looks on me because it looks very natural. Um, doesn't feel caked on or anything like that. And um, I don't have, like I'm covered exactly how I like to. If you want um, maximum coverage, then you want to do that original foundation three layers. So you do three. I did two for medium and then one is just for light coverage. Um, and then you do the mineral veil, your warmth, and if you want to put blush on, go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes, but you don't have to watch that. So that's all. Thanks. Bye.